Okay, my loves, if you're here, you're either going through a breakup or want to avoid it in the future. My heart goes out to those of you suffering the pain of losing someone you deeply care about. Did you know that heartbreak feels similar to addictive drug withdrawal? In fact, it affects the same or similar areas of the brain. And that crushing feeling in your chest? Well, that's not imagined either. That's a physiological effect of heartbreak. With this in mind, you may be surprised by my suggesting that you don't want her back. Even if you believe you do, begging is the least effective strategy if you want a healthy relationship. If you try to use logic, beg or plead, aka simp, then if you do get back together, you'll doom any potential success the relationship might have. However, if these reasons don't apply to your situation, or if children are involved, do everything you can to work through your difficulties to stay together, though it may be beneficial to spend some time apart to recalibrate and gain some perspective. In this video, you'll learn these seven reasons you don't want her back and the two critical reasons simping is the worst thing you can do. You may want to sit down for this one. I'm about to deliver some tough love as gently, as tenderly as I can. If you're new to my channel, I help men decode modern women so you can find, attract, and keep your keeper or just have better relationships with women. Welcome to Just the Tip. All right, let's look at what happens if you ignore these seven rock solid reasons to go back to your ex, but instead you decide to take a leap back into the past. Now, regardless of whose fault the breakup was, let me paint you a vivid picture of what getting back together too soon looks like. First, you'll step into a time machine, returning to a relationship filled with these same old issues and arguments. It's like deja vu. However, instead of a thrilling mystery, it's a frustrating, never ending loop. Next, you'll strap yourself into the emotional roller coaster that goes along with getting her back while you're in a current emotional state of desperation. Brace yourself for a repeat of the dizzying highs and gut-wrenching lows. Remember that sinking feeling in your stomach when it was over? Yeah, well, get ready for it again. Now, trust issues, oh, they'll rear their ugly head, and you'll find yourself in a perpetual cycle of doubt and insecurity. No matter what happened to cause the breakup, whether it was a slow burn or lightning strike, trust is broken and rebuilding it can feel like navigating a minefield without a map. Because if you do manage to persuade her back, as you continue down the path, desperate to make it work, you may start to notice something. The grass isn't as green as it once seemed. If you're not consumed by the idea of the relationship, somewhere in your psyche, you may start to wonder if you're settling when there might actually be someone out there better suited for both of you. Now it gets tricky. Let's assume you do heed my advice. You and your ex both change, maybe not in the same direction. The disconnect will become painfully apparent as you try to fit two puzzle pieces together that no longer match. Right now, loneliness might be your constant companion, convincing you that going back to your ex is the only way to escape it. However, you deserve more than a band-aid for loneliness. You deserve genuine love with the right person. All right, let's get real and break down these seven reasons you don't want her back right now and what to do instead of begging, pleading, and chasing. One, history repeats itself. You've heard the saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Well, going back to an ex while you're in a state of fear, desperation, or loneliness often means reliving the same drama and issues that led to the breakup in the first place. Key point, nothing changes if nothing has changed. If you haven't had time to fix what wasn't working on your end, she likely hasn't either, and the relationship will replay on the same old loop. Two, emotional roller coaster. Woo. Breakups are emotionally taxing, and trying to reignite a past flame can be a wild ride. It's like getting on a roller coaster you already know makes you feel nauseous. Save your stomach and your heart the trouble and take a break until you don't feel gut and heart sick. Key point, what's truly meant for you cannot be given to someone else. Trust the divinity in that. Three, the grass isn't always greener with your ex. You may not believe it now, but there is a world of amazing women out there. Not perfect, no one is, but someone with the right flaws for you. Key point, don't limit yourself by fixating on what's familiar and comfortable. Sometimes nostalgia clouds your judgment when in reality, there's someone more suited to a better version of you. Four, growth and change. People change and sometimes they change in opposite directions. You may have evolved while your ex stayed the same or vice versa. It may be you were never meant to be together or you're not as compatible as you thought you were. Key point, 
jumping into a relationship based solely on attraction and chemistry often leads to a breakup if values, beliefs, and goals are not in alignment. Don't try to fit into a relationship that doesn't truly fit who you are or what you want in life. Five, trust issues. If the relationship ended due to trust issues, going back can feel like walking on eggshells. Even when two people are right for each other, rebuilding trust is challenging. It's often easier to start fresh with a clean slate. Key point, when it comes to trust, slates take time to clean and sometimes need to take a break to clearly see if this is the right person to clean that slate with. Time apart can help you gain that clarity if you embrace the space. Six, mistaking loneliness for love. Loneliness can make an ex seem like a lifeline. However, it's essential to distinguish between genuine feelings of love and fear of being alone or never finding someone else. Real love doesn't feel like you must cling to it. There's no rush, pressure, or persuasion required. Key point, even if you feel true love, she may not, and you deserve to be loved. Seven, blocking new opportunities. Clinging to the past can prevent you from exploring new relationships and experiences. Experiences. Key point, not only will you consciously or subconsciously prevent yourself from noticing other possibilities, even if you do, your underlying longing for your ex can squelch any genuine connection you might develop with the real right person for you. We tend to be attracted to what feels familiar from our childhood caregiver experiences, particularly the negative aspects and when we're often attracted to mates with some of the bad feeling traits of the caregiver we felt we lacked love from. That's why romantic relationships can stir up so much conflict for our own unresolved emotional wounds, which often show up most acutely in romantic relationships. When two people love each other and are aware of their own unresolved emotional wounds, there's a chance they can help each other heal, but we must take responsibility for examining and healing ourselves. As I've said in other Get Your Ex Back videos, the best way to get your ex back is to stop trying to get your ex back, at least not while you're in a state of desperation. Instead, focus on what went wrong in the parts of the relationship you had control of. Maybe you were needy and clinging or aloof and closed off. Perhaps you did something terrible you think she'll never forgive you for. It could be you took her for granted. Or maybe your mistake was believing your love could fix and heal her. Even if it was her that did all these things, you chose her. Whether you're truly right for each other or not, focus on getting your life back on track for you. Key point, you can't fix a problem from the same mindset of the problem. Take some time to heal and deal with the hard truth of what got you into a relationship headed for heartbreak. Key point begging, pleading, and using desperate negotiation tactics, aka simping, tell her nothing has changed. Clinging to the past can be like an anchor holding you back from the open sea of growth and new opportunities. You'll miss out on meeting other women who could bring the right kind of love and adventure into your life, even if that new relationship is with this old flame. Key point, if you continue on the path of going back to your ex when it's clear you shouldn't, at least not right now, you risk eroding your own self-esteem and self-worth. Every time you rekindle a relationship that's better left in the past, for now or forever, you're sending a message to yourself that you don't deserve better. Over time, this can take a toll on your confidence and make you question your value in the dating world. You might settle for far less than you truly deserve because you've convinced yourself this is all you can get. <sighs> Remember this, you are worthy of a love that's vibrant, fulfilling, and enriching. A love that feels like a safe haven and a warm home. Don't let misguided decisions from the past diminish your sense of self-worth. Use this video as a compass to guide you toward a healthier, more rewarding relationship. The choice is yours. Heed this advice and set your sights on a future filled with the kind of love built on a strong foundation or ignore it and get ready for a rocky ride through relationship Groundhog Day. Again, if children are involved, I highly recommend the two of you consider talking with a professional therapist experienced in keeping families together. I'll put a link to the online company I recommend below. It's the only one I know of that's not biased towards women. If children are not involved, I've got one more ace up my sleeve to help you supercharge your self-esteem and prepare you for the love you crave in your right mate. Even 
if it turns out to be your ex. And that's, of course, my Wake Up to Love program. The program is designed to help men like you build unshakable self-esteem, and it provides the tools to develop the skills that will attract and keep lasting love. It also helps you become the best version of your true self. Heartbreaks happen. My program gives you the best chance of getting your ex back if she's truly right for you. And it will equip you with the emotional resilience to bounce back stronger than ever if she's not. Plus, it's a healthy distraction from the unbearable heartbreak you may be feeling. Now, I must warn you, my program is not a quick fix. There's a lot of homework and some of it is very difficult, but nothing changes if you don't change. Gentlemen, if you're serious about preparing for true love and reducing the chance of heartbreak, start your journey to love and self-discovery today. I'm sending you so much love. Thank you for being here. God bless.